All right, you guys, um, this video is going to be about the new math curriculum that we are doing. And um, I'm going to share with you what I got. And also, um, we've also, we've already started working on it. So as you can see, moving beyond the page, um, there's a catalog inside. So this is going to be for my nine-year-old. Um, these are two of the literature books I got separately because, um, as you may have seen in the other, um, videos I've done, we have a cashback thing with Amazon. Um, so I went ahead and got the first semester. This, we have already started doing this, but my main plan is for this to be for next year, um, because it covers fractions, perimeter, and area. Um, so I got the parent manual and the student guide. Um, and something that I recently started doing that's different than what I've done in the past is I've been using it almost exclusively online for the activities. Um, well, and the lesson plan. So actually, I'm not even sure if I'm going to get these hard copy um, in the future because I'm really liking how the online has like here you see there's an online activity. So if you log into the learning gates, it has all of these different things there for you. Um, we'll see. So this is my first time using it for an older student. I have been using it for my six-year-old and I do plan to share about that in a separate video. Um, but if you want to see, this is the schedule for semester one. So that's what I purchased. So we cover multiplication and division, place value, measurement, multiplication, multiplication and division two. And then in semester two, um, covers area and perimeter, fractions, geometry, graphing data, skills review. So um, while my nine-year-old has already done multiplication and division, place value, measurement, uh, this really covers all the bases. So I really like how in-depth it goes. But um, one of the things that I've been doing with my younger, with my six-year-old, is we've kind of been jumping around a little bit. So if we get, you know, too overwhelmed with uh, multiplication and division, maybe we'll skip over to geometry with her. I mean, not with her, but... Um, you know what I'm saying? Like doing different things. So anyway, I'm sure you can find other unboxing videos where there, people are showing, um, moving beyond the page, but I wanted to share because we have been doing Saxon and I really like how that is, um, a, what's the word when it builds upon itself, um, like consecutive development, building on itself. Uh, but it kind of tends to stay on the same path and doesn't, I don't know how to explain it, but kind of just getting bored of it and, um, not liking it as much. So the one thing that I really liked about this for the five to seven age group is the use, the integration of the literature. Um, you know, I have had different math books in the past, but it's hard to figure out how to fit it in with the lesson. Um, and so I really like how this has worked out with five, this five to seven year old level. Um, so we have already started this and I'm going to share with you guys, um, the work that my son has done so far, um, because I like, sorry, I've got no space. Um, I like showing for this curriculum in particular, like how it actually looks when you're doing it. So these are probably all out of order, but, um, these are arrays. So, you know, that's really popular with the common core math. And I think it's a helpful learning strategy. So these are the different worksheets that we've done. And we've just been following the curriculum verbatim in terms of direction. So I don't remember what order these are in, although it says activity one. Um, so we did skip counting. And what was really cool about this is if you have the online curriculum, which by the way is included with your purchase for 18 months, which is outstanding, amazing. I really did not appreciate that because I wasn't really understanding that it's everything in these two books. Um, you're also getting it online. So it's basically like getting two for the price of one. I had just been trying to use the book version. Um, it's a little bit daunting for me to have um, like, let me just show you like all of this. I don't know why, but this format is very... Um, not what's the word like doesn't it's just overwhelming it can be I have been able to do it but it's been a struggle so if you want um log on to the learning gates on the I think that's what it's called that might actually just be for the um assessments. So I think it's just called the online version of this curriculum. You have each lesson on a separate web page and it has like the check boxes and click here's the student activity pages for this lesson. And I just really, really like it. And so it kind of just occurred to me, I might not even need to get these in the future, um, which I think is also a cost savings. So anyways, so you log on and it says skip counting. 
um, go do, go watch this video about skip counting. And then, w- and it's on a website called math is fun. And then within that, there is an assessment that says, you know, which one of these things shows this times this. Um, and then after that, oh, see, it says right here. So read skip counting by tens and it tells the student exactly what to do. And so what I really like about that is I feel like it's encouraging independent learning, but it's also very scaffolded. So it's not like, okay, what do I do next? It says now read this, then do that. So I really like that, um, especially going into fourth grade. So he's currently in third grade um, and we started using this and we probably will get through this whole unit. Um, Another thing, I don't know if I have it on hand. Oh, I do, hold on a second. Um, another thing that I did is I printed out the lesson outline. So this is for five through seven. Um, this is the one for, um, this unit multiplication and division. So I printed this out to get an overview of like, what are we doing and what is next? Um, and what are the concepts that are going to be covered? So this is called the unit review sheet, but I'm kind of using it like a scope and sequence thing. So this is the whole multiplication and division one. And if you remember, I showed you the back of this. So this is multiplication and division one. So for 27 days, here's all the different things that you cover. And when we finish that, we'll move on to place value. And then I'll print this out and have this on hand and say, okay, like, what are we doing next? So I think we are um, somewhere around here because I know that we've done getting ready to, I think we skipped that actually because he's already very familiar with multiplication and almost has all his tables mastered. I'm just going over the different strategies, commutative property, because I think that's going to be a really solid foundation for division, um, which is, you know, it's, it's related, but it's different. So, um, we did the skip counting we did. And so this is one of the worksheets they give you to do, which I think is really cute. Um, and he did a lot of these at once because it was repetitive. And when you're in the mode, are in the mood. Um, so that was an activity that was related to this first thing. Then, um, this was after he had done the arrays website. Um, and, uh, equal groups and then multiplication sentences. And so you can see these things are all related, but, um, they, are presented in a different way. And I think that it really encourages mathematical thinking. And, um, I'm really happy about this decision and I don't know if I'm going to do it for my older kids. They are all in, actually, I won't do it for them because they're all in online math classes, but I do think, um, you know, we'll continue with this for the rest of this semester into next year. And then at that time I will probably purchase, you know, semester two, which is what was the main motivator because we've got area and perimeter fractions and everything. Um, And then if that all works out, I will purchase the 8 to 10. Um, I'm still working through the 5 to 7, like I said, with my 6-year-old. It's a little bit, you know, this is meant to be for advanced students, so it is rigorous. It's not necessarily every 7-year-old is going to be able to do this. It's very difficult and challenging math, uh, very rigorous. So um, it's a little bit slower going for my younger student, but... um, I really like it. So I wanted to come on here and share that with you guys. Um, Coincidentally, they are having a 10% off sale today or for the next couple weeks. I'm not affiliated at all. I just purchased um, the manipulatives for this level. I had been waiting to see until I got this and started doing the work if I wanted to do that. Um, And I also got the interactive notebook, which is basically a binder with sections. So you put this like in the, I'm assuming it's going to be like the multiplication vision one, like that will be the first, um, tab in the binder. So, um, I felt that was worth it. It's like $10 for the binder. You know, I went to the store and binders are like $5. So I'm like, okay, it's going to cost me $10 to buy those materials and replicate it myself. May as well snag that while it's on sale. Um, I will leave a link to that in the description box, but, um, more broadly, I really wanted to share about these older levels of the moving beyond the page math, because I feel like this really strikes a good balance between being a rigorous math program, but also being fun and hands-on. Um, and there are different activities that, um, we haven't done for this level yet, but we just did with my younger daughter where we, um, you know, we're making different shapes out of candy and things like that. And so those things are definitely included in here. Um, another like last thing I'll say is, you know, many people have said this can be very overwhelming if you try to do everything from all of the different subjects and everything. So, 
I would just think like, what is, what works for my kid? What am I trying to teach my kid? What works for them? How do they learn best? How can we, you know, pare this down so that it works for us? And I think it's definitely very doable, um, which is why I've been really looking forward to making this video and sharing with you guys. So um, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them below. And like I said, I'll leave the link to the sale that's going on. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching.